Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving uh, higher order polynomials here. Okay, now this was uh, one of the requested a video from, a, from one of the viewers. So the requested a video, he asks it to talk about a Descartes sign rule. I'm not a big fan of Descartes until I went on the Wikipedia and looked him up. It turned out he actually was a big dude. He contributed in both philosophy and science and uh, earned my respect after I read his biography, and which I'll share with you briefly in our math break in a little bit. All right, so what I have over here is I had uh, marked how many sign changes. Now Descartes sign does not give us number of solu uh, does not give us exact solution or possibility of solution. It does, however, give us number of solutions, just the number of solutions. Okay, so what I marked over here is this is not a sign change. This is not a sign change. This from here to here is a sign change. So it's one sign change on positive, which gives us one max sign, uh, one max solution that's positive. Since it's one max solution, so you have exactly one. Let's maybe put it exact solution that's positive. Okay, and then what we're supposed to do f minus x to see how many negative sign you have. Then you have two. That's cube. This is a positive. This is a negative. This is negative. So here is change one, change two, and this is a no. So here we have two sign change on the negative, which means we have two max negative roots. Okay, that's all the Carter sign uh, theorem can tell you. Nothing else more. Okay, now as promised, math work, I printed out this picture of this dude, our hero. Here's the dude. And he's teaching the queen of Sweden. He had a very sad life, actually. He's a uh, Mother died when he was one years old, and uh, his daughter died when she was five years old. So he didn't have a lot of uh, luck with ladies. But one smart dude, he's the one, if you ever want to impress your uh, friends, you can say, I think, therefore I am. He's the dude who said that. Okay, Rene Descartes. I don't know if you've ever taken any art classes, but drawing this fold on the tablecloth, it's nearly impossible. It's impossible for me anyway. Uh, glad I'm not an artist. All right, back to our math. The real meat of the solving problem is actually this thing called a rational theorem, or I just call it a PQ theorem. It sounds more cool to me. Anyway, let's finish PQ theorem. PQ theorem says, look, if you have a polynomial you're trying to solve, what you want to do is have the end bite the head. This is the end. This is the head. I always think of it as a snake. Let's see if I can, in this limited time, draw a snake for you. I live in Arizona, so in the springtime we see a lot of snake. Anyway, you have the end bite the head. And that gives you possibility of roots. Now, this is a lot more powerful because it says, look, that as complicated as it looks, all the roots you can possibly have is in this set. 1 plus minus 2, and then um, plus minus 1, plus minus 1. I think I'm missing a plus minus uh, 3 and 2. Okay, so what I did is I took the number last end and split it up into three and one, that's its factors. And two, it's factors one and two, and you combine them in the two, three, um, actually four. 
I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's four possible choices, uh, eight actually. So I did a little bit of work ahead of time. I found out that p minus one is equal to zero. And that gives me a head start in that I know p of this x can be written as x plus one times something else. The something else I'm going to use long division or synthetic division. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to do the synthetic division. You are more than welcome to go on to my channel and look up how to do synthetic division. I'm just going to assume you know how to do this one. Okay, so here I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to my p of x. Now the reason I want to factor is of course I can solve it much easier. Okay, now for this one, look on my channel and look under triple play method, you'll see how to solve a factor this one. Anyway, the end solution is 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Okay. Once you factor that one out, solving this one was pretty easy. So roots are x equal to minus 1, x equal to minus 3, and x equal to positive 1 half. And what do you know? This Descartes theorem is right on. I said it has a maximum of two negative solutions and maximum two positive solutions. In the end, we actually just have one positive solution. All right. I hope I didn't go too quick. Uh, the YouTube only lets me record seven minutes. Anyway, so that's how we handle solving higher polynomial equations. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.